In this video, we'll turn this photo into our own 3D Christmas adventure using only Blender and Photoshop. I will also show you Blender sculpting tools to customize and create simple 3D objects, along with more tips and tricks. You can download the free sample of the slide to follow along with the tutorial. If you leave a comment below, we'll select 3 random comments to win the complete bundle for free. If you also want to access all the models and want to support the channel, you can purchase the full package from our Gamrod store. There are plenty of neat 3D models that you can use in all your future projects. And without further ado, let's jump into the tutorial. I got inspired by this image from Shutterstock, but I wanted to replace the car with something more festive, so I customized a Volkswagen with ornaments and more suitable colors. After I removed the background in Photoshop, I went into Blender and I started by adding the image as images as planes. This will allow me to mix the photos with the 3D objects and also move the photos in 3D space. Since I got all the objects already stored in the asset browser, it's just a matter of dragging and dropping into the ESCN. This picture didn't require to get the exact perspective from the photo, because I was creating the background from scratch anyway. And in the previous video, I show you a couple of tips to match the angle of the photo and the 3D model. If you haven't watched it yet, make sure to watch it after this video. When it is time to create the environment, I start with a single plane and I start adding spheres to simulate mountains and add details to the landscape. I'm also changing the colors in the left viewport to show you better where I'm placing all the elements. If you cannot find what you're looking for and if you have a particular 3D object in mind, I'm gonna show you how you can create very simple shapes using the sculpting tools inside of Blender. To start, add a sphere to your scene and switch to frontal view. You can also turn on the X-ray view and then select the whole shape, delete the upper part of the sphere to create a hole for the bag. If you select the ring around the hole, you can extrude it to create the opening of the bag. It is really nothing too fancy. Once you have the basic shape of the bag ready, add a multi-resolution modifier and increase the subdivisions to 4 or 5. This will allow you to sculpt in some details. In a sculpting mode, add the flatten brush to create the general shape of the bag, and then alternate it with the grab brush to make it puffier. I use the inflate brush to add more dimensions to the upper part of the bag. To create the folds and the creases in the bag, select the crease brush and design the shape with some weight inside, since this is supposed to be full of gifts. Now, that you have a simple bag, you can either save it to your asset browser or drop it directly in your scene behind the car. Feel free to start filling it with as many gifts as you want. I'm also adding some boxes in the air to create more chaos. As for the penguin slide in the back, I use a more modern slide. You can download it for free in the link below. I quickly took some texture from the Megascans library of snow and applied it to the ground and on the mountains. I am rotating the plane to give the direction that I want. In Photoshop, I'll do the final touches such as adding the background and making some color corrections. Most of the time, I'll do some dodging and burning, not only to match the correct lighting, but to accentuate the details. In Blender, I created one material that will assign random colors to every object in the scene. I asked a friend of mine to create a short story using this image as inspiration. She was kind enough to record it in her own voice. Now you can relax and enjoy the rest of the video with this story and some music in the background. Lily loved chasing penguins in Santa's workshop. But one day, she stumbled upon a pile of presents and tried to carry them to safety. A group of penguin police officers appeared, accusing her of disturbing the peace. I'm just trying to save these presents, protested Lily. Penguins first, presents second, said the lead penguin. Lily rolled her eyes and let out a sigh. <sighs> 
Well, I guess I'll have to outwaddle you then, she said with a grin. With that, she turned and ran, the penguin police hot on her heels. But Lily was fast and agile, and she managed to outsmart the penguins at every turn. She reached the safety of her bed and collapsed onto the mattress, panting and laughing. <laughs> I guess I showed those penguin cops who's boss, she giggled to herself. And with a satisfied smile on her face, Lily drifted off to sleep, dreaming of all the adventures that awaited her in the magical world of Santa's workshop.